Hi, hello, I'm Blanche, I'm from Mexico, and now I'm going to do my first slide for February for Pentart. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to do an, an album cover that is going to be for a project for Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, say hello if you can. Uh, I'm going to speak a little bit in English and a little bit in Spanish. And here it's 12 p.m. So hello, hello. Let me see if I can see here your comments in my tablet. As I can say hello. Oh, yes. Here is Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. How are you? The collection that I am going to, to use is it's not going to be only the the cover of the album i'm going to try to do more sometimes we don't have the the base of the of the albums and i'm going to show you how i can build an album from zero i'm going to use cardboard and i'm going to use uh one of these of some Priya collections that i love i really like this collection that it's desire it's an old one it's, it was uh, it's by Dorota Kotowicz, and I love this one because it's red, it, it has a lot of black, and the, the designs are really great. This is one of the albums of the collection. This, this is the, the backgrounds, and these are going to be very useful to do some folders for the album. And uh, let me say hello to Rosa, to Imrene, to Elizabeth, to Liana. Hi, Jill. Hi, hello, how are you? Bueno, como les iba diciendo, voy a, voy a hacer un álbum. Muchas veces no tenemos la base del álbum, entonces tenemos que hacer nuestros álbumes desde cero. Entonces voy a tratar de hacer algo que nos pueda servir. La colección que voy a usar es esta, que es una colección de, de estampería, es la de. Desire, y voy a usar este pad que es el de 8x8, it's 8 by 8 inch pad. And the background that I am going to use is the 12 by 12. I already cut some things in advance because I want to, to do it fast. Ya hice algunos recortes para poder avanzar. Y lo que les voy a enseñar es lo que, lo que voy a hacer. Let me show you. I got here in Mexico this car this cardboard. This cardboard has fabric. And I'm I this is the, the measure of the this cardboard as you can see it's very thick. And this is the the measure is 23 centimeters by 35. And I cut by the middle. I have two pieces. Let me show you how I did this. And one is going to be the cover of the album, and the other one is going to be the back cover of the album. And I'm going to paint this, I'm going to do some designs, and then I'm going to use some molds, some papers inside. Hello, Jan, how are you? Uh, can I work with this? Sometimes I use some papers as I don't want to have here a big mess. This is one of the papers that I'm going to use, and this is the other one. Tell me, did, did you do a lot of Valentine's projects? This is the first step, okay? I'm going to apply primer paste this is soft gesso that it's um it's not as thick as the gesso that we use regular i'm going to apply the gesso in both sides oh happy birthday jan feliz cumpleaños no sé cuántos proyectos ya hayan hecho de de día de san valentín La verdad es que a veces no da tiempo. 
de ir con todas las temporadas, ¿cierto? Sometimes we don't have enough time to do all the projects that, the, that we want to do. And here I'm going to apply the, the soft gesso as I am going to use this uh, media, media mist spray. The color is poppy. Here is the color that I am going to use for the background. It's not very liquid, so the cardboard it's going to stay flat as it is. But I prefer to use first the primer as I can play with the with the cardboard a little bit. I will try to work a little fast as I can finish the album today. So as I told you, I did a lot of things in advance for the inside of the album. As you can see how I am going to work with the structure of this one. Oh, so many birthday beautiful wishes for you, Jan. I love this club community because we are always in good mood. I think that this is great. Sometimes we don't know in person each other, but we can send best wishes or send support to, to someone who is sad or who has problems. It's, it's really amazing. Sometimes we have the opportunity to travel and to meet our um, Facebook friends in person, and it's nice. And as you can see, I'm only applying the the primary gesso, and I'm going as it's going to let's try. I'm going to explain you how I'm going to build the, the album. I have here these two cardboards that, uh, as I showed you, it has, they have fabrics. I also cut some two thinner cardboards. These are thinner than this one. As you can see, the, this is not thicker as this one. And this is going to be for the inside, okay? As I want to, that my cover is going to be very thick. For the middle, I have more pieces. This is one that it's going to be right here. And this is the other one, okay? And to, make the structure i'm going to use this um fabric that it's like jute but it's white so i cut a piece of fabric that is going to be right in the middle and it's going to help me to make the the album structure okay so let me glue this one first here in the middle and then I'm going to glue the sides. For this, the glue that I'm going to use is this one, is the Express Glue. Hi, Anna, how are you? It's Tuesday, it's the first live event of this week. I think tomorrow is going to be Anne, and um, on Thursday is going to be Jill. So sometimes it's good for the English speakers that we can do some lives in English. 
but also Pentar tries to to do their best with our Hungarian friends. Okay, this is going to be right here. And this is right, so I'm going to glue this right here. And this one is going to be the other side, okay? I know that some people love mixed media projects. Remember that we are going to do also the covers. And in the covers, I'm going to use some molds and other things. But this is going to be my structure of the album. That's right. This is one side. And this one is going to be the other side. Oh, so sorry, it changes. I don't know what happened. Let me see if I can change it in the camera. Okay. I didn't touch anything, I swear. And I don't have a mouse and then something that changed. Stream. Stream yard some sometimes get crazy. Okay. That's fine. And here. I'm going to have another piece that it's going to be right in the middle. It's the same size as the as this one. Okay. And for this, I'm going to try to glue with this one again with the express glue. I'm trying to prepare the covers because I hope that it's, this is going to be right when we finish and we can close the album as you can see how this is going to be. So this is going to be the middle. And Here, we are going to stop a little bit because I have here some ribbons and I'm going to glue the ribbons first here and in the other size as we can close the album and then I'm going to glue the other, the other cardboards, okay? Let me cut this one. Uh, I think that 30 centimeters is going to be okay. Oh yes, I love the, these ribbons too, because they have a lot of colors and we can match the colors with a lot of uh, collections that we have from different brands. So, I don't know if, if this has the color. I don't. And here I'm going to glue this ribbon. I hope you can see. I'm going to glue this ribbon here, and this ribbon is going to be right here. Okay.
here. And this is going to be here, more or less. I don't know if you can get these ribbons easily in your countries. In Mexico, we don't have this kind of ribbons. They are more simple, but I got these ones in USA. And then, as I told you, I have more cardboards. This is the same size, so I'm going to glue this one and we are going to have the cover of the album. For this, I'm going to use this one, it's cardboard glue. It glues really fast and, and it's great for this. As you can see, this is the clear glue. The other one was white, and this is clear, and it glues really well. Hello to North Carolina. Entonces, como vieron, este pegamento es transparente. Este es especialmente para pegar cartón. Entonces, este me va a ayudar para que quede bien pegado este cartón. Como vieron, lo único que hice fue pegar el listón primero para que de esa manera ya tengamos nuestro cierre sin después tener que poner alguna otra aplicación o nada, ya queda más limpio nuestro trabajo. Entonces, este, aquí ahorita lo que estoy usando es este pegamento, que como ven es transparente y nos va a ayudar para pegar este cartón. Muchas veces no sabemos con qué pegamentos pegar y estos son realmente muy resistentes. Okay. So we have here the, the, the fabric side and the other one is the only the cardboard side. For this fabric side, I'm going to paint this one and for the other sides, I'm going to to use papers and other things. And as you can see, we have here the, the album and here we are going to get these ribbons here for to close the album. Okay, I'm going to work first with these parts. I want this to get really dry. So I'm going to do the, the decorations and we can work later with this one. Here I have some molds that I prepared previously. These are made from resin. Uh, this is going to be right here. And this is going to be right here. Okay. And then I'm going to use this one right here. And I'm going to choose the images that we are going to use in this in this frame. Maybe for this one we can use this these roses. 
put this one first. Sometimes I have the ideas in my mind and sometimes I have to, to think fast and to continue to do about projects. I try to prepare everything, but these ones, I didn't choose them. So here I'm going to use this one. And this, no, I so here one image that I love. We can use these keys. We can use these keys here. And maybe from this pad. As you can see, the backgrounds are really great. So we can use. Mm -hmm. We can use this one from here, okay? Sometimes I try, I try to to do something that you can like and for that you can learn. I try to do my best here. It's not going to be a lot of fussy cutting. I hate fussy cutting during the lives, but I'm going to use these images, okay? Let me put this in one side if we can work in the molds. And as you can see, these are from resin, so I'm going to apply the bonding primer. I mean, this is the best primer for resin. This is very liquid and this is going to help us to work with our resin pieces. This dries so fast, so it's going to be easy then to work with some paints and waxes and they are going to be okay. Same as me, Elizabeth. Honestly, I love to watch some of the lives that Pentart shares because as sometimes we don't understand maybe the language or or we don't have the products, but we can get some inspiration and we can um, know that they uh, uh, just to learn that Pentart has a lot of products that we can that maybe we need, and we don't know that we need those products. Maybe these products can solve um, some problems that we had before. For example, in Mexico, we don't have a good primer for resin pieces. And when I discovered that Pentor has this bonding primer, I said, oh, finally, my pieces are going to have the paint and the paint is going to stay in the mold and not is going to to fall right yes we need everything <laughs> and sometimes i i don't know how are your uh scrap rooms but mine it was supposed to be just a table and a 
piece of furniture. And then <laughs> when I move to this house, I take a little room that I have here, but right now I can tell you that my papers and the molds and all the projects that I have and the, all the paints and products that I receive, <laughs> they are, some, some of them are in the floor <laughs> because I don't have more space, so. And I can tell you that sometimes it's difficult for me to give gifts or, or to sell my the projects that I do. So it's complicated <laughs> to choose if I want to sell the projects that I do or if I want to keep them maybe in boxes, but I know that I have them. Never enough space, no, <laughs> not for me. My kids sometimes want to say uh, good night <laughs> and they say, oh, mom, I can reach you. <laughs> you have a lot of things in the floor and we have to jump and we don't want to break your things, <laughs> your stuff because you are going to be angry. So this is just bonding primer. And this is white. So they help with my resins that sometimes my resins are a little bit of pink or cream color. So they help me to give uh, the white color that I need to the resin. First, my water. I'm going to paint this. The frames for the frames I choose this color is the this is from the decor paint chalky line, and the color is turquoise blue. The other one I think that it's going to be great if it's vintage beige. You can see the colors here. So this one is going to be with this one and this. I, for the roses, I choose this one is uh, lipstick red. And maybe for this one, I'm going to use beige color for the background and the olive color for the leaves. So these are the these are the paints that I am going to use. And let me try just a little bit these ones. Do you sell a craft first? I don't use to to sell a craft first. I I used to to sell. I don't know seven or eight years ago, but if I sell my a, a box, for example, with molds and everything, and I say this costs to say a number, twenty dollars. People don't want to in Mexico. It's complicated. That people can pay twenty dollars and maybe the cost of the box is eighteen dollars because i i have to buy resins and paints and glues and molds papers and as you know uh mexico is far far away from the the beautiful brands that you have in europe so the costs of costumes are very high so if I have to, if you pay for a paper, I don't know, three euros, I, I have to pay here seven euros for the same paper. So 
that's why I didn't choose to to sell my my projects. Sometimes if I want to give a gift to a friend or to to my husband's friends, it's easier to say, okay, it's a gift. Than sell my project for less of the cost. So this is a little bit warm. That is and I have here more papers. It's okay. Let's go to I'm going to start with this one. It's the turquoise color. In Mexico, we used to say also that we have to, to make a charge <laughs> with the projects for the Oranalga. The Oranalga is like in, maybe in English is the butt hour because you have to, <laughs> or the, yes, you have to stay a lot of time in your chair and you, you maybe you pay for your courses or your classes the workshops maybe you have to pay for everything and they don't want to pay for anything right so yeah sometimes this is i, I tell my husband that, that this is not just my hobby I told him that if he has to pay for therapies, maybe he has to spend a lot of um, pesos, Mexican pesos, and it's less the cost of the <laughs> of the stuff that I buy here. <laughs> it's my therapy. It's my time. So I'm, I have teenagers, so they. Sometimes they are very happy and sometimes they are very angry. So I need space. <laughs> and I found here my, my, my beautiful hobby that I can enjoy. For example, when we were in, when we have the COVID stuff, it was, my kids took their, classes online my husband work but my friends were in their houses doing the same as me and my craft space my craft things i i believe that they saved me of getting crazy <laughs> and i met a lot of beautiful people from all over the world with this pandemic honestly i say thank you to all of the people that I met, maybe not in person, just online, but they are really great and they save my my mind. <laughs> but this is a great color. I think that it it matches great with the reds and blacks of the collection. For this one, I'm going to choose this, the vintage page. Let me show you the color. This is the color that I am going to use. This is. What paint are you using? This one is a turquoise blue. This is from the Decor Paint Chucky. It um, dries matte, that's why I 
choose these ones. And this one is the uh, vintage beige. You can choose also the acrylics, but they are a little bit glossy. And I love the matte finish of these paints. They are great too for furniture, but honestly, I don't use to paint a lot of furniture here. So I use them in my projects and they are they are good for, for these little frames. Ahorita estoy usando lo que es una pintura como si fuera lo que acá decimos una pintura latiza porque seca mate. La verdad es que tiene muy buena co cobertura. En solamente aplico una capa y ya tengo el color. They are really great paints because with one layer, as you can see, I have the color and the color is perfect. Maybe I can do it. I'm going to paint this with the same color as I don't want to have all the rainbow in my project. Yes, I'm going to paint later the flowers with the colors that I showed you before. We're not going to see this one, but let us paint this. Then next step, we have to paint the roses. I tried to in my brushes, but I don't find them. This is the color that I choose for the roses. It's the lipstick red. It's really, really red. As you can see, this is a beautiful red. If you have more time, I forgot to tell you that you can uh, put your covers maybe in a big table and then you can put on the top a lot of books as the covers are going to stay flat. Maybe I'm not going to have enough time to do that, but when I do my cover albums here at home, and they are for projects. Maybe I put the covers, then the books, and then I leave them for a day, for 24 hours. They are going to be, they are going to, to look beautiful in this way. I don't know if you read the description, the description of the project, but sometimes we have a lot of uh, pictures, or I want to, or we want to give a beautiful gift to our friends, 
and maybe this is going to be uh, a good choice for you to give a friend uh, the pictures of, of vacations or maybe we have friends of our childhood and we can and we start and we have a lot of pictures of them so this is going to be a good idea or maybe for our couple or for our kids i i don't used to celebrate a lot the the valentine's day but these are just ideas do you celebrate valentine's day at your countries In Mexico, we used to send flowers to our beloved ones. Or maybe we give chocolates or cards. My husband is always working, so he's not maybe too romantic on Valentine's Day, but if he remembers that it's Valentine's Day, maybe he is going to be here with flowers tomorrow. <laughs> he works a lot. I don't still married. <laughs> yes, we have 20. Let me remember. We got married in 22, so we are going to, to be 20. I don't remember. 22 years of marriage, <laughs> but we are not very romantic on these days. <laughs> and then, um, as I told you, I use this one that it was the lipstick red, and I'm going to use the olive for for the lips. Got married in 1997. Oh, wow. Uh, in 1997, I was studying at university. <laughs> I, I finished my, my career in 1998. And maybe I didn't tell you before, but I studied a career that was about systems, administration, <laughs> and I'm painting. Sometimes we don't choose the right career. Maybe I had to, to study I had to study something about decoration or But with kids, it was very complicated for me to work in something about computers. Maybe it's not perfect, but I always tell you, after the life, I used to paint and to do the little details. For these ones, I am going to use this, the anti-king gel ochre. So let me try this a little bit.
Pues como vieron, nada más pinté rapidísimo todas las piezas. Y ahorita voy a usar el Antiquin Gel. El color que voy a usar es el ocre. When I received my first Antiquin Gels, I used to, to use a lot of the brown color. But honestly, right now, my favorite color is this one, the Antiquin Gel Ocre. It's lighter than the other one. And it's really great. When you use the antiquing gels, remember that you can use them as they are. And then you can spread some water here and you can play with this one. Or also, if you want, you can take a baby wipe and took off the, the, all the paint that you don't need. Hello, Anthony. How are you? Welcome. I'm waiting for your video. Did, did you share the video? I don't see it. I didn't see it before. The video of the play that you were using. Here's the baby wipe. I don't have kids anymore, but I have to buy baby wipes. So this gave us a, an antique look. And it's so easy. And remember that they, that we have a lot of colors of for these antique looks. For example, I didn't use yet the um, green color, and I saw a video with that color, and it looks really great in a pot. I think that it was Teresa Rene who it does that spot and it looks really great. I have to try that one. Les digo que hay varios colores del Antiquing Gel. Honestamente no los he usado todos. El otro día estaba viendo un video donde estaban usando el verde. Qué bonito se veía en una maceta. Entonces, lo tendré que intentar. One of the, the things that I like from these ones is that when you use the antiquing gels, you are not going to need the um, uh, varnish. Maybe for this one, let me try the, the brown. Let me see if I have here. The brown yes. I don't know how you work, but sometimes I think I'm going to use this color and then I change my mind in, the, in one second. <laughs> this is the, the other antique gel. This is the brown color. And I think that I took the and the new one. Let me see if I have the old one. Yes. This is the one that is open. Let's see if I, have, if I can play with this one here. Yes, it looks better.
going to look at the screen size of this one. Yes, it looks better with the brown one. But one of the things that I like for from these ones is that you can clean if you are fast, you can clean the the antiquing gel and you can take up and then you can use the other one. Here is a brown color. This one. This happens when, when we are light. And you apply to the wax paste. Yes, but you are not going to get the same effect. If you clean quickly with your baby wipes, may, sometimes you can take off sort of a lot of the, the paint of the wax or anything that you are using. It's easier when you have uh, when you apply a varnish before. But these gels are really great because they are not solvent based, they are water based. And it's easier to clean them than other products. As you can see, I just cleaned just a little bit of the of the antiquing gel, and I'm going to dip them as they are going to be dried in just a few minutes. So. I apply them taking gels. Let me clean a little bit my hands and let me see my clock. Okay. I'm not going to use a lot of molds and things and decorations, but these ones go to the water. And this is here. Let me clean my space because I'm going to take the cover of the album. If you remember, I used here before the, the primer, right? So let me put this here and this here. And I have here the color that I'm going to need. This is the poppy color. This is media mist spray. And let me take baby white. And let's spray this here.
If you want, you can spray a little bit of water. I don't want to do it because my my um, cardboard is not going to be flat anymore. You can play with different colors. I'm just going to use this one that it's the, the coffee color. Let me close this one. Let me dry, and then I'm going to use a paste. I have here some temporary stencils. I don't know how you store them. I used to have this binder. Maybe this stencil is going to be great. I'm just going to put some decorations here. The paste that I am going to use is this one, the Deluxe Paste Color Champagne. And I'm going to apply this one with spatula, okay? This is a color. As you can see, it's a gold one, but it's not yellow one. And just some touches, not the full stencil, just some pieces of this one. Here. And here. Let me do this here. You can apply this kind of space also to paint your surface, but as you can see, they are thicker enough to use with the stencil. You can see I'm using the thicker stencils from Stamperia, but they, the paste are great and they are they have different colors of these ones too. And I will have to clean this a little bit because the paste dried so fast. I'm just cleaning a little bit with the baby wipe, the later I'm going to 
thin the stencil with soap and warm water, and this is going to be okay. Perfect. Let me put this one in one side, and I'm going to show you quickly how I'm going to prepare the, the inside of the album. For the inside of the album, I have here some notebooks. These are white pages. I put here a piece of cardboard. This is cardstock. It's black. And then I make this some folds right here. Okay, I have three of these ones. And as I as you can see, I have here some papers that I put previously. And for this, the best glue that you can use is this one, the paper glue mat. So as you can see, Pentart has many glues that can help you in your scrapbook projects. I'm not using only the express glue as as I used to use in my projects. This time I choose to show you that Pentar has different um, glues that are very, very useful. This is going to be the idea for the notebooks that are going to be inside of my album. Here, These glues are great because they don't have a lot of water and the papers are not going to be damaged with the glue. And I just, as you can see, I just need a little bit of the water, of the glue. So, you can see, I'm going to use three notebooks. Maybe I'm not going to do them right now. I choose the papers that I am going to use. This is going to be the second one. And this is going to be the third one. Okay. I have here the papers for all the notebooks and I'm going to show you how I'm going to use them. This is the second and the third. And here, I have here some pieces of papers. These are going to be for the inside of the album, okay? And in the middle, I am going to use this one. This is a piece of cardboard. I make here three holes. The holes, as you can imagine, they fit great here, okay? And you are going to put these cords here. But first, we are going to fold these ones with this paper that is going to be the black color. For this one, I am going to do, 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 to make the holes with this stuff. Okay. And for this one, I am going to glue with this paper glue. This glue doesn't want to work right now. Yes. 
Так. Сколько клюв? I use it just today and maybe I don't close it quick. Good. I am going to put here the glue. I am going to put here in the middle. And I have to fold this and then I will do this later, but as you can see, the 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 cord is going to be right here, and here I will have one, two, and three notebooks. Okay, just let me explain you how you can do this. This and here is going to be one two and three. I have to glue this better and here is going to be this one. And then when it's going to be finished, I'm going to glue this in the middle of the album, okay? These are going to be in the sides and just let me finish the cover. This is going to be my, my cover. I'm just going to glue right now these ones. Here is going to be my composition and the album is going to be done. It's fast, but it looks great. Here, this is the, the piece of paper that I'm going to glue this here, and here is going to be the couple. Do you remember? For this, I am going to use the Express Glue. As you can see, I did a lot of things in advance because I want to show you almost finished all the album. It's complicated to finish one album in one hour. So this is the frame that I have. And this is going to be the other frame. Mm -hmm. Okay. And for this, I prefer to glue the big face resin pieces with this one, the heavy body gel. I'm going to use this one that it's the glossy one. because it, it's going to glue, to stay for more time. My, my pieces are going to stay for more time right here. So as you can see, it's not completely clear right now, but later it's going to be clear. Let me put this here. Or the other one. I'm going to need this piece in one of the corners of the 
per frame. Okay, and here I'm going to put this one. Oops, maybe like this. Maybe just a little bit right here. Uh, I forgot to put glue here. Okay. The flowers, I'm going to put them here. This kind of glue needs some time to, to, com to be completely dry. So maybe it's moving, but later it's going to stay. Okay. Right here, right here. For this part, I am I have here this one. I don't know if you can see everything. For this part, I am going to put this one. And then I am going to put this one, but it's the other. But I have, I need a piece of cardboard here. And also I am going to glue with this glossy gel. Right here. And then right here, this one. And I have here some flowers, some leaves that I cut from our other collection that I have. I'm going to glue these leaves with this. Express glue. The couple is going to be here with the car with cardboard. Maybe I cannot finish this one, but I'm just trying to explain how this is going to be. At last. I don't know if I'm going to use this one, maybe later. It's too much, maybe, for this. And maybe you can ask me what I'm going to put here. Here I'm going to use this. Maybe I'm going to paint this with, uh, with uh, this color. with a cream color. Sorry, if I'm not reading the comments right now, I'm going to answer everything later, but I know that it's almost the hour that I have. Maybe it's going to be a big, uh, 
a longer life. But I'm trying to do my best. Honestly, I didn't think that I could get it in one hour. <laughs> Here I have a piece of this fabric too. Mm -mm -mm. My scissors. I have them here. I hope you are enjoying this. And then if I can find here my new. As I told you, this is like a piece of jute, but it, this is white. So I am going to glue this right here. And this is just another piece of cardboard and a piece of the collection of the of the um, of the collection and. I'm going to glue this with one of the glues that I have, and I'm going to put this here. Maybe I'm going to change my mind right now, and instead of putting this here, I'm going to put this right here. But it, it was not really dried, and I'm going to put this right here. What do you think? And I have to wait for this to be completely right. Maybe I can add a little bit of this antique uh, of this wax paste. The color is gold. And this is going to be right, right here. Maybe some touches. I love the smell of these waxes. They smell like orange. And I don't know where this comes from. It's one in five here in Mexico. So just remember that I am going to cut this one and I'm going to put this right here. And this is going to be my album. I have to wait this to be completely dried. And then I'm going to put the notebooks inside. And that's it. It's it's an easy way to do the the uh, album from zero if, if you don't can if you cannot get the the covers in another way. I think that is it's a good idea, and you can use any of the collections of, that you have to do your albums, and you can choose the size of your albums in this way because you can cut the all the pieces of the of the album and then you just have to to do the the decorations and the compositions like i did and you can use your molds or die cuts or anything that you have 
I, I hope you enjoy this project today. And then I'm going to, to share all the pictures of the album when I'm going to finish this one. I'm going to, sh to share the pictures in my Facebook, in my personal Facebook, and also in the decor, in the decor, in the Pentar decor group. Okay. I hope you enjoy this. Have a nice day. Uh, enjoy tomorrow, your Valentine's Day, wherever you are. And um, thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.